Just with the Celtics. A quick trip here for the Bucks. Just one game away before heading back to Milwaukee. They're facing a lot of challenges, fellas, in this upcoming run. All right, everybody. Here's another game with the Boston Celtics going against the Milwaukee Bucks. They've had a tough time setting themselves apart from the pack this season. Yeah, they sure have. It's really been one of those years where nothing really gets going. Enjoy the action. Kind of an ignition that kicks in for this club. They just kind of seem to hump around the middle all year. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Brandon Jennings and Montellus comprise the back. Gallen Bears out there with Sanders and Atelia Silva in at the three. And for Boston, Brandon Bass and Kevin Garnett, the duo inside. Bradley and Pierce. Come on, Garnett, get the pick. And it's Rondo in at the one spot. Good job, Garnett. With the Celtics off the tip. the pass to Pierce. Garnett with the screen for Pierce. Over Ilias. Good job, Pierce. Nice jump shot. Paul Pierce is averaging 19.4 points a game. Shooting 44 percent on this roster because when the play breaks down, he's probably as good as anybody in the league at just backing you down, using that strength, using his incredible footwork to, to get a shot off. Not just any shot, a high percentage one. Here is Rondo following the basket by Brandon Jennings. Rondo kicks to Bass. Working on Sanders. Shoots from the baseline. Good fade away. Good, Good fade away, Bass. Bass is good as play. two points of the night. And Paul Pierce, one of the most versatile scorers, Clark, in the NBA. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he can back you down. He can face you up. He works off screens. He can make plays off the Stay with him, Bradley. Himself or his teammates. He's a multi Stay with him, baby. Problem for the opponent. Five on the clock. Here's Ellis. 11 feet out. Good shot, Ellis. Ellis has got his first bucket in this one. The defense that time didn't do quite enough. I mean, it takes a lot of effort to stop him when he gets in tight. Rondo off the pick from Pierce. Rondo kicks to Bradley. Addition out to Bass. Double team. Jump, jump hook. Good and shot, Bass. Good start. Good well, start to this game. I can't believe this that Doc Rivers, guys, is in his 14th season as an NBA head coach. We banged heads against each other between the lines way back in the day on the hardwood. He's already. Stay with him, Rondo. Years. Top 20 all time in playoff wins is Doc. Stay on him, Brass. Bass. I mean, Bradley. First season as a jump head shot. Coach. That was a good jumper. Not know was also an outstanding commentator before taking the range on the sidelines. So well versed in the world of basketball is Doc Rivers. Here is Rondo. Looks like this is going to be a good game. From Monte Ellis, jumper off the screen. Oh, the shot by Pierce will not go. Can't get a much better look than that though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him, to miss there. There's the feed to Ilias Ova. Jennings. He kicks to Ellis. Let's go, Boston. With the clock winding down, it's rebounded by Bass. Good rebound, hey, Bass. Mark, you were talking about Doc Rivers. You mentioned that Coach of the Year award. Not bad for a guy who didn't really have any coaching experience as an assistant. He went straight from the broadcast booth right into the fire, and he got it done right away. Now, here's Bass. Following the miss by Monte Ellis. Bass is on fire. Good. He's on fire. Bass has got six. He's setting the tone. The Celtics winning their last game against the Man Oh. As a team in that game, they shot the ball incredibly Come well. Come on, Boston. You got to stop that paint. Block the paint. Top. And it was no fluke. I mean, they were as in sync as you could hope for. Really working hard. Take it, Rondo. Take it. Shots, uh. And they did it time and time good again. Good bounce. That was a good bounce. Shot by Rondo. Rondo. Let it play. Have gone four or five from the field so far. And not to discount defense, guys, but it was their effectiveness offensively that allowed them to finish that game out. Yeah, spoken like a true sharpshooter. The battle at that end of the floor, which they won easily, really told the story. Yeah. Down him, Garnett. That's, that's what I'm saying, Clark. Here's Dallin Bear. Oh, good Garnett block. With the block. Dishes it to Rondo. Wow. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Ready to drive to the basket, Rondo. You know, it's interesting. Rajon you 0 for 2. You got one assist. Acknowledged as one of the premier point guards in the game. And yet, it seems like year after year, we hear his name 
in trade rumors. Some of that may be because he's butted heads with Doc Rivers at times, but it also may be because he's so valuable. He's such a dominant player, he would bring back an awful lot in return. Oh, Rondo, you missed. And the trade rumors for Rondo, some of the rumors in Boston were that he was strong-willed, sometimes kind of a loner. He, he was tough to coach, and on and on and on. And uh, perhaps it was him being with such great players and he wanted to just take his time as he was Come on, Rondo. himself. Make the shot. Mark on that team. I mean, there could be a lot of reasons there. Exactly. I agree. And not being close enough to the situation, I'm not going to. Oh, you ball. missed both of them. Conjecture there. He does have a strong personality. He's an extremely bright basketball player. And good players sometimes are challenging to coach. But I think at the end of the day, you want to give any young player a chance to develop and mature. And uh, with the talent Rondo has, I think you've got to give him room to continue to grow. Just two to shoot. And Baamute can't get it to go. This is a Shot slow starting game. game. Separated by five. Passes it to Green. Back to run. To the paint. Oh. Put it up. Oh, you missed it, Mello. Come on, Mello. Here's Daniels. Over green. No good on the buzzer beater. Nobody's hitting shooting good this, this quarter. The Bob Celtics lead by two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Next Friday night, Carmelo Anthony and the New York Knicks take on Rudy Gay and the Memphis Grizzlies. Make sure to catch it. Close game, now starting the second quarter. And the Celtics guys, what jumps out to you, stats -wise? Just the start they wanted to this game. Solid offense, they got good ball movement, established a nice rhythm. Yeah, not stagnant at all. Free-flowing and fluid at the offensive end. Come on, Boston, let's, let's do some kind good defense. Weird start to the playoffs last year for Boston. Rondo gets suspended early. But the Celtics were able to get past the Hawks as they matched up as the four defense, and five block the Celtics paint. actually did not have home court advantage in that shit. True, right. So with Rondo on the bench, here's the five for Doc Rivers right now. Barbosa is out there with Lee. Then it's Jared Sollinger. Then there's Wilcox. And it's Green in its small forward. And a really poor job boxing out there, guys. A momentary lapse in concentration, I think. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin Garnett, Way to take it to the basket, Barbosa. Way to take it to the basket. Really played well. He said, I put a lot of work into my craft. I take it very seriously. Way to be aggressive. Have. It's almost like you guys are shocked. It does come off disrespectful at times. You have no idea what you're doing when you say those old comments. I don't read your columns, but it gets back to me. Guys, KG always motivates. There you go. And sometimes he takes that motivation from the doubters. A good way to motivate you, certainly. Thanks, Doris. Boston making some changes. Mellow's checked in for Zellinger. Pierce comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Avery Bradley in for Courtney Lee. He makes one of two that time. You know, Clark, you wonder how the Celtics would fare as an older team and shortened season, the compacted window of, of games. Wow, over he's quick. Into one week. You just weren't sure how much gas they had in the tank uh, come playoff time, Steve. But as it showed, they, they won a couple series and made their way through. Yeah, I thought it was really oh. impressive for getting to the Eastern Conference Finals, taking Miami to seven games. Uh, they had their chance, too. You know, up 3-2 in a home game. Uh, but LeBron and Miami were just too much. Ellis with it. Now Pierce defending. Ellis can't Nobody wants to, to make a shot. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Oh, that one. I mean, that's good a job, Bradley. Shot and one. Nine out of ten times. That's how you exploit that defense. Take the ball right to the basket. You know, something that's special about him is his defensive intelligence. He knows what each opponent's bread and butter is and does whatever's necessary to take it away from him. Yeah, nicely put, Steve. He forces guys out of their game. I mean, 
gets them out of their comfort zone, makes them uncomfortable. He's an absolute terror to have to deal with when he's guarding. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Selinger's Good job, Bradley. For Mello. Bass comes in for Chris Wilcox. Jeff Green is checked in for Paul Pierce. And it's Terry in for Leandro Barbosa. Udrick dishes to Dallin Bear. Back and down. The rebound Good by defense. the Celtics. This game against Milwaukee here. It's their first look at the Bucks. Well, from their sweep of this season series a year ago, it's pretty clear why one team wound up in the postseason and the other one went home. Oh, good drive, Sullinger. Good drive. Let him take it to the basket. Now you guys are playing some basketball. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Daniels kicks to Udra. Stay with him, Terry. To the inside. Here's Ellis. And Good there's block. a rejection. Well, I tell you what, guys. His struggles from the field have definitely taken their toll on the team today. Here's Terry. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. Here's Sullinger. Let it drive, Sullinger. Let it drive. Him. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line. Let it be aggressive. Did just mention the ease with which they handled yeah, you followed this him. opponent last season, Clark. Well, the series between them really was quite ugly. I mean, not very competitive at all. <coughs> As you would guess from looking at the standings at the end of the year, this was um, very one-sided. It sure was. Oh. Well, I was impressed with the Bucks. You guys aren't hitting your free ago. throws. Guys, the, the bounce back from a tough 2010-2011 season. Milwaukee fought hard all the way through the end of the regular season and, and stayed right on that playoff cusp. Come on, Sullivan, you make the shot. Kevin Garnett is checked in for the Celtics. Rondo comes in for Avery Bradley. So wow. neither attempt will fall that time for him. Even though they didn't get back in the playoffs and Milwaukee again missed, I think the Bucks showed everybody that they mean business by going for it and playing Clark to the bitter end. Yeah, I agree with that, Kevin. You want to finish strong as best you can. So going for it like they did in the season where there wasn't a lot of hope can inspire a team, and we'll see if that's the case this year. Rondo, Bucks foul call. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. At the line. Not shying away from contact. They're getting to the line more this quarter. I like their aggressiveness. Come on, Rondo. Let's see if you can make some free throws. really getting into the paint and forcing some opportunities. There you go. And Boston has really kind of set the bar in the Eastern Conference over the last five or six years. Not quite as effective last year, but they did well pretty the game. well against their Eastern Conference opponents. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Wilcox comes in for Celtics. I like the animations in this game. That's exactly how Rondo shoots that free throw. And he can't hit the second. And Boston against the East, it was a big part of why they were able to stay in the hunt. 32 oh. and 16 on the season interconference. Like every other playoff team in the East, they were able to have a winning record against every Eastern division, but they really took it to the Southeast, which is surprising. As there you go, Garnett. the toughest division. Take it to him, Garnett. Fade away. Bam! Good shot. Good shot. By five. He doesn't need to fade away on that move. He can go straight up, make it an easier shot. And Udrick kicks to Lamb. Yes! Makes the lead. Oh! Udo gets the bucket. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been. There you go. They do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Wilcox with the jumper. With All right. Let it play, guys. Their defense flourished, becoming the best in the league, Kevin. Defense really their identity. That's how they win. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Mello's checked in for Wilcox. Pierce comes in for Courtney Lee. And it's Come on, Boston. Let's go. For Jason Terry. Yo, yo, yo. Ellis outside. <laughs> Jennings, a screen on Bradley. He feeds it to Ilias over. 
Down on Pierce. Rebound. Oh. And Ilyasova kicks to Sanders. Feeds it to Jennings. Knocks down the 10-footer. Celtics leading by three. Rondo kicks to Garnett. Over and Bahamutu. And Good shot, Garnett. Good and shot. And now six of their Let last ten points from mid-range. Yeah, jump shot really serving these guys pretty well. Jennings with the ball. He picked up 27 points in the last win against Detroit. Yeah, Kevin, he really set up shop at that foul line. I mean, they could not do anything with him defensively, and so they had to keep fouling. Stay on him. Here's Ellis. And he beat the buzzer, but the it's time. no good. Your and we're through two here and a good one. The it's the Celtics. Easy. They're up by five. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And welcome to halftime, everyone. Great one underway in Boston. An impressive start for the Celtics. They've yet to lose so far this season and are looking fantastic in this one, too. There's been some great work by Brandon Bass in this one. After two, he's got six points, and he's helped out with some key rebounds as well. And midway through, the Bucks are still alive. They'd like to forget that first half. Coach has not been happy with what he's seen out there, and they'll likely come out with major adjustments. Monte Ellis with a rough first half. Not a lot of shots falling. He's under 30% on the night. Let's start things off with a look at what's coming up later tonight. Over at AT&T Center, the Spurs will face off against the 76ers. A 7.30 Eastern time is tip-off. And one game also on the docket. It'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers up against the Suns out in Phoenix. Tip-off is at 7 o'clock Eastern. And another game that's coming up, the Los Angeles Lakers will be playing against the Bulls in Chicago. A couple of big names facing off there. A 7.30 Eastern tip time. And let's get that crystal ball out. It's time for today's Pick and Win. And that'll be it for us here. Thanks so much for joining me. Now it's time to head back to Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. We hope to see you around next time. so far with no ground given through the first third quarter starting here now. Here's Ellis. You know, the Bucks know they have sufficient talent and were right in the mix of it last year. Ended up making a playoff push but came up four games short of securing that eighth seed. The rebound, Bass. Things going a little differently, particularly on the road, they might have been able to get it done. So, Setting the floor for the Bucks. Brandon Jennings and Monte Ellis comprise the back. Ilyasova out there with Sanders. And it's Dallin Boom. in at the pivot spot. The shot, Pierce. Big mistake not having more defense. What a start the third quarter. If you look back at the Bucks season, they were injured and they were missing players. And had they been healthy, there is a pretty good chance they would have been a playoff team in the Eastern Conference. That's right. Steve? Well, you know how that goes. I mean, health is a factor every year. And uh, sometimes the breaks go your way, sometimes they don't. Uh, but I think it's going to be important for Milwaukee this season. I mean, they don't have a huge margin for error. So they've got to stay healthy if they're going to get back to the playoffs. Hey, heads up! Pulls up. Good hook, Garnett. Good hook, baby. What it back him down. Garnett's got six points. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. Jennings passes to Ellis. Guarded by Bradley. And it's Ellis penetrating over Bass. And Monte Ellis again. Ellis has got four points in the quarter. Monte Ellis is a guy who's a little undersized as a scoring guard, but there's no question about his explosiveness. His first step is so quick. Loves to go right, can get to the rim, but if you back off him, he can pull up and make that jump shot. Third quarter of basketball, We're about a minute and a half in. Outside Rondo. 
Pierce with it. Working on Ilyasova. Kicks it to Bass. Over Sanders. Good fade away, Bass. Bass you are on fire. So tough to defend. Attacking the rim. To get that mid-range jumper going, Clark, most any time he wants to. He's got great elevation on that jump shot, too, Kevin. When his jump shot is falling, it's a hard matchup for anybody trying to guard him because he's so quick at getting to the rim. And he can make tough finishes in the paint area. Rebound, Boston. Rebound. Pass has got Give it up. rebounds in this game. Their next game is at Oracle Arena, so a road game with the Warriors. That one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Rondo with it, picked up by Ellis. Bradley kicks to Garnett. Gallimbert is there. Fades away. Get off me. Oh, good shot. And another basket for Boston. Bucks call time. Carving them up inside there. Good shot, Garnett. What a play. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. And a new group in for the Celtics. Selinger's checked in for Garnett. Wilcox comes in for Brandon Bass. Jeff Green, he's checked in for Paul Pierce. And it's Terry in for Avery Bradley. Milwaukee also making some changes. Hudo's checked in for Devin. Bottom pick. Gooden comes in for Larry Sanders. And Mbamute comes in for Ilya Sova. Ellis, Terry covering. Four on the shot clock. Oh. Ellis came to go. Celtics leading by 10. Push it, Rondo. Push it. Boston is a team that fell from the elite of There you go, Green. Good the shot. Boom. All right. Because of their play at home, now you guys are heating up. Still tough in front of the now Celtics you're playing State. some basketball. Jennings against Rondo. Ellis outside. For the three. Oh. Again, the miss by Ellis. And the Celtics really do seem to feed off the energy here in this arena. You see all the banners hanging above the us. Pick green. You know, Steve. You Bam. Being oh, what a roll. Good shot, Rondo. As a, as a member of the team. Yeah, now no you guys are playing some basketball. The great venues in the uh -oh. because of the history of the Celtics franchise. And obviously, you know, that, that matters to Boston. And 24-9 at home last year, they were able to take advantage of of that home court. That's why they were able to hold on to that division title. Can you take him, Sullinger? Can you take him? Now here's Sullinger. He's tightly guarded. Uh. And it's Boston with another. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Good shot. They've been playing with offensively tonight. This is an impressive performance. Uh-oh. Let him get behind you. Come on, Wilcox. Something has to Wake change up. because that's 10 straight points coming in the paint against this team. Well, they got to collapse in there. And set it up. got to be conscious of it. It's a team effort in protecting the paint. Control the oh, good left hand hook. What a play, Terry. Terry. Man, offensive execution yeah. has been the story here. Just playing get back. basketball. Stay with him, Rondo. Hey guys, you can see it in their advantage in field goal percentage. I mean, you get high-quality shots, you're usually going to shoot out of the pick, Terry. outstanding basketball. Good D, good D. Shot by Udo, no good. Shot and game clock separated by five. Wilcox dishes to Sullinger. Love hand. Oh, no good try. With the rebound. He's far too tentative in the paint. And even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Ellis, the pass to Jennings. Over Rondo. And he gets it to go from the high post. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. And that's now six points for Brandon Jennings. Oh, almost went in. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 40. Celtics lead by 14. 26. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Coming up next Thursday, Rajon Rondo and the Boston Celtics go up against the Golden State Warriors. Big time hoops coming your way. Let's go and let's swing it over to Doris Burke to find out who's had the Sprite uncontainable game. Doris? Guys, well, it was the stretch by the Celtics that garners the uncontainable game today. A big run by them in the third quarter is the difference right now as they've opened up this game. Guys, one quarter left to play, but they look to be in complete. 
complete control. Doris, thank you. That was quite a run they had, quite exemplary of what we think of when we think about that turning point. Definitely a sprite, uncontainable game moment. Yeah, you won't get any argument from me, Kevin. It was as big a factor in this game as anything. You know, when a team builds up that much momentum, it just becomes so hard to turn the tide back around. Yeah, Steve, they just kept the throttle down. They sensed an area of weakness and then just continued to exploit it, never letting up. So with Rondo on the bench. Good shot, Garnett. Ooh. Pass and KG, the big ticket. Garnett's pumped up. up. Bradley and Pierce fill out the wings, and it's Barbosa in at the point. Now Udrich. And Ilyasova kicks us in. Dallenbear dishes to Jenny. Good defense. Shoots over Bradley. That's what I'm talking about. Let it play. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Barbosa passes to Bradley. Over Udrich. Good shot, Bradley. Good shot, Bradley. And the Celtics lead by 18. Well, you see the contrast here offensively. They're really What's starting to make that mid-range shot. Yeah, and I love it. You know, just finding the gap and looking for a little airspace, a little room to get the shot off. They're doing a nice job. Rajon Rondo's checked in for Leandro Barbosa. Monte Ellis checked in for Milwaukee. Jennings against Rondo. Jennings off a pick from Ilyasova. Ellis dishes uh -oh. to Jennings. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. And it's eight points for Brandon Jennings. Well, he's been scoring pretty well on just a few attempts. It might help them out if he was a bit more assertive. Garnett kicks to Rondo. Shoots over Jennings. Take it to him, Rondo. Oh! From Jennings. Bucks trail by 16. Get him. Yes, oh, good Ellis shot. Picking up the assist. Good shot by Jenny. Ellis has got his fourth assist in this one. Now they may have to climb on his back to get back into this game. Dishes it to Bass. Pass to Pierce. He passes to Brantley. Six to shoot. Rondo shoots over Jennings. Rejected by Jennings. Gives him the lead pass. So oh. he gets a contact on the way up and two shots coming up. That's his first first. Monte Ellis is a tremendously talented guard, but only one playoff appearance in his seven NBA seasons. And it's been frustrating for him. He's a guy who's put up some big numbers, but I'm sure he'd like to see more playoff success in his future. First free throw is good. And Steve, you mentioned Monte's frustration in the past, not being able to win a, a championship, a division title, or just, you know, be above 500, you know, on a consistent basis. But he's really worked on Clark, you know, not wearing all those emotions on his sleeve as much, to, to stay positive, to, to, to be a good leader. Yeah, to be a little more even keeled, make sure the dedication to the team is uppermost in his mind. And being patient as well as striving for excellence that's a delicate line to walk but he's making uh, progress in doing it terry kicks to bass stole that out of you to interrupt the that pass. Attempt there. <laughs> ellis that's good ellis. ellis has got four points this quarter they are closing in here their offense heating up well, you want to maintain contact, and after this nice run here, they've made up some ground, and they're right where they want to be. Here's Garnett. Puts the Tell him to get off of Garnett. Good shot. Yeah. Boy, he's been good offensively tonight. I really like what I've seen. 152 left in the game. Jennings kicks to Ellis. And there's the pass to Ilya Sova. Outside Jennings. 
shoots a fader. And the officials call over the back. A little too aggressive there. Well, he's boxed out. And since that happens, you know, you, some point you have to just turn and get back defensively. That time he went right over the top. Yeah, but you go straight on the top of another player's back, that's going to be a foul call every time. Ajan Rondo is checked in for Boston. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Gallon Bears checked in. Rondo kicks to Pierce. Oh! And the Celtics Rock and roll. Team. They have really executed well here offensively. Well, it's going to take a major catastrophe. Oh, Rondo almost Black got that steal. For them to not walk away with the win. Here's Sanders. Oh, he put a move on, move on you, Bass. Attacking the paint again and again. You know, they're getting whatever they want. I mean, eight straight points coming inside. Outside Rondo. Garnett kicks to Bradley. Back to Garnett. It's Pierce on the wing. Nice ball movement by Boston. Pierce, Pierce. Now the dish to Rondo. Over Jennings. And Rondo. Bingo. On the assist from Kevin Garnett. And that one should remove all doubt about the outcome of this game. This thing's over. Now it's just a matter of what the winning margin's going to be. Jennings kicks to in. Over Bass. They get it back. And that one's good. Well, not only does he excel at getting those offensive rebounds, but he's really good getting putbacks and layups off of those boards. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Rondo kicks to Pierce. Now the feed to Bradley. Garnett outside. The shot. The rebound by Brandon Jennings. Typically, he's pretty dependable on those open jump shots. There's the triple. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Bounds, Celtics ball. So it's Boston. All right, another game in the books. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is...